No, screw you, Bill. No, I'm not getting smashed with you again. This video is now late because of you. No, I, I, I don't want to hear it. Hey, friends. How are you today? Welcome to Top 3 Games of September 2015. The first game up is Soma by Frictional Games. We all know them from Amnesia, but how do they fare doing another horror game? How about a 94% out of over 1,300 reviews in just over a week? I'd say that fared very well once again. This time, Frictional Games has set their game in a sci-fi underwater facility that even has certain segments of gameplay being in the water. Now, Soma was a game that I had been anticipating for a while now, and it has certainly been well worth the wait after reading the customer reviews. Many of the customers give a lot of high marks to the game's story and aesthetic design. The story is one that makes the player question their own existence and think about what it truly means to be human. Soma's art and sound design makes the game not reliant on jump scares to make a great atmospheric experience. Many reviews have stated that this game is easier than compared to previous frictional games. Enemies were acting exactly like they do in Amnesia, and puzzles were simpler. Although not complained much about, it is something for you horror veterans to take note of. Aside from that, many consider Soma to be their best game so far, and that's the biggest one in my book. PC Gamer had this to say, A masterpiece of audio and visual design. Soma's atmospheric, cerebral, and occasionally frustrating. All in all, Soma is a game of great atmosphere and story, with slightly easier gameplay. I will definitely be picking this one up, and to the horror fans out there, you should too. The next game up is just... Why do I have this again? Here we go. It's Dropsy, the scariest f clown ever. Look at him. LOOK AT HIM! Aw, oh, he just wants to give people hugs. LOOK AT HIM! This is a point-and-click adventure game developed by a Jolly Corpse. Wow, what an inviting name. Dropsy is a game about a clown who survived a circus fire that has tarnished his name. Dropsy then finds himself on a journey of redemption within a story that harnesses themes of love and kindness. In this game, you just want to help everyone in need and give out hugs, which actually is a big game mechanic. Here's one thing to note, this game features no voice or text dialogue at all, which is intriguing enough for me seeing as how the voice actor strike may very well render future games without voice acting for a while. Seriously, it's a thing, look it up. Many of the customer reviews note how the game is very strange and creepy, but in a cute sort of way. After watching a bit of the game myself, I realized that it did do this very well, along with having very good music too. Many other reviews also note exactly what I just said. Some even said that it was all around a very special experience to them as well. As for me, I pretty much did what most others did. I just prejudged this game by looking at the creepy clown guy. Now, after thinking about this game for quite a while, I've become drawn to it, and I want to get it myself. So if you want a game that's both a bit creepy and cute with a character that just wants to make you happy, please, check out Dropsy. Now the last game on the list is another indie title, and it's a real hidden gem at that. So if you don't already know, this is how I find my top games, usually. I go on Steam releases, and this time I came across a little game called Undertale by Toby Fox. So at first glance, I thought this game didn't look that great. I mean, the graphics looked boring, almost like Atari era, and the gameplay didn't look all that impressive either, it just looked like a very basic turn-based game. Then, I saw the reviews. The overwhelmingly positive 98% out of over 2,500 reviews. I thought, wow, I cannot pass this up no matter what. So I read a little more into it. Pretty much this game was an RPG where you don't have to kill anybody. You know, that was interesting. I've never seen anything like that in like a Final Fantasy game or Earthbound before. You can also date skeletons. Yeah, that's right, skeletons. Well, since I don't know much more about that, let's look at the customer reviews. Everyone just seemed to love this game. People called it charming, witty, heartwarming, and even heart-wrenching. Many other customer reviews give praise to the gameplay, player choices, and the soundtrack. You know what really sells me on this game? Just look at all the jokes the game developer and the user reviews have on the page. That's proof that this game is just a great time. You know, I think this Undertale game is a pretty good one and it's worth checking out, even if I don't know much about it.
But you know what? I don't care. I want to get it now. Oh wait, there is one negative thing to note though. Many reviewers say this game can get really sad, but you know what? I like the feelsy type games, so I'm up for it. Undertale is still a very mysterious game to me, but those positive 2000 reviews don't lie. At least I don't think that many people can lie at once. Unless it's a big conspiracy. Anyway, please check out this indie gem. Alright folks, that'll do it for this month's episode of Top 3 Games of the Month. What were your favorite games this month? Remember, they don't have to be games that were necessarily released in this month, just any game you played this past month that you really enjoyed. You know what's funny? Is I was originally going to have more AAA titles. You know what? I say the AAA titles get too much recognition anyway, so here are three great indie games to play. That's it for me. Check out these games and other great ones released this month that I just couldn't get to. And remember to please, please, please like, favorite, and share this video. Catch you on the flip side.